I speak unto thee this day, and I say, do you know how few there are? That is, do you know how few there are who will allow me, the living God, to bear rule over them? For I say that the vast majority of those in this wicked time who claim they are mine are not serving me at all. But I say, they are serving themselves, they are serving their own desire, their own ambition, then claiming it is me. And I say, they are serving the lust of the flesh, the pride of life, and all the while they claim it is me that they love, but they will not let me be in control. Now I say, when a man or a woman will be truly repentant, then I say that they will forsake the reins of their lives. That is, they will abandon the same unto me that I may be in control. For I say that I find great joy in a people who will adhere unto me, obey me, and come forth in my way. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way that is life and truth, the way that is mercy and strength, and the way that is hope provided. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to walk in a way that is far from me to do your own thing. For I say in the times that you are in, that men and women end in a ditch of mire of their own making because they do their own thing. That is, because of pride and high-mindedness and independence from me, they think they know the way to go. And I say they take themselves into that which I did not ordain nor provide for them. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to grow high-minded, to grow proud, to grow independent of me. And I say that I do not call you to walk in that which is weariness and to do your own thing. For I say when you do your own thing, you are obviously not abiding in me. And I say, when any man will choose his own desire, his own will, he is not found in my way. Now I say, this day be glad that I am the one who will purpose, direct, and guide you forth each and every day. And I say, be thankful that I give to you the truth, the light, the blessedness, the strength, and the mercy of who I am. For I say, if you will be accepting of what it is that I give thee, then yes, indeed, you can rejoice in me. But I say, when you are rejecting of my provision, of my dictate, my standard, my desire, then I say, you are not found abiding in me. Now I say, this day, that I, the living God, am giving the call throughout the earth for all men to repent, that they can indeed be in subjectivity unto me. For I say, when any man or woman is believing upon me, then I say, they will not be angry at me and determined to have their way. But I say, when a man or a woman is hardened their hearts and stiffened their necks against me, then I say, they become my enemies instead of my friends. And I say, when they once cried out to know me, to serve me, and obey me, I say, they no longer do the same. And I say, it is because they have grown hardened in their hearts, they've grown dull in their perceptions, and they think they want their own way. But I say they are fools for the very way they are demanding and commanding that they receive of me is the way of their own destruction. I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to destruction, but I say that I call you to my life. And I say that I call you to be made glad that each and every day you are uplifted and guided in my way. And I say that I call you to be thankful that I am the one who will purpose, direct, correct, and instruct you, for you are mine. Now I say you may cry out unto me and look to me as the one you are meant to please. And yes, indeed, I will give you my truth and my light always. And I say when you seek to please me, when you seek to obey me, then I say you are pleasing me. But I say when you turn from me to take up the God of self and think you must please the same, I say you have gone in the way of a fool. And I say there were many who get sidetracked and strayed from me, and I say they go in the way of fools. Now I say this day when you look upon the way of a fool, what do you see in the same? I say you see emptiness, you see futility, and most of all you see pride. And I say when men are blinded by pride and seeking for their own understanding, they are seeking for lies. And I say when men will choose to oppose me, I say it is not me that they love to serve and obey. I say this day, be glad, be glad, be glad for the privilege that you have been given to walk in the truth, the light, the mercy, and the hope that I do bring. 
And I say, be glad that in me you are guided, for I will guide you forth. And I say, be glad that in me you are given the blessedness, the strength, and the truth of who I am. For I say, if it is me that you look to, believe in, and trust, if it is me that you seek to please and obey each and every day, then yes, you are uplifted, guided, and directed in my way. But I say, when you are choosing a way that will cause you sore dismay, that is the way of your own understanding, yes, you will be my enemy instead of my friend. For I say that I, the living God, never call my people to be carnally minded, opposing the mind of my spirit in the same. But I say that I've called my people to be ever subject, to be ever thankful, to be guided forth by me. And I say that I've called my people to be purposed, directed, corrected, and instructed in the truth, the light, the mercy revealed. Now I say this day, be glad when I, the living God, do give to you what you need, that you can indeed be guided forth by me. And I say, do not ever despise my moving, my leading, my guiding over you. And I say, be thankful when I call you each day to be repentant, to be walking in humility before me, and be ever accepting of my way. For I say, when you are found well-pleasing, when you are ever abiding, then I say, you are directed by me. Now I say this day, consider that I am the one who will renew you, that I am the one who will direct you and correct you day by day. And I say, be thankful that I am the one who will give you exactly what you have need of time and again. For I say that I do not leave you to wander, I do not leave you to be in confusion, nor the delusion of the times. But I say, if it is me that you seek your counsel, your direction and correction of, it is me who guides you forth. I say this day, be glad that in a time of most people slipping into darkness, iniquity, and sin, that you can be brought forth in me. And I say, be thankful that you can indeed be purposed in that which I give you time and again. For I say that I will give unto you the truth, the light, and the mercy revealed. And I say that I will give unto you such as you need to be kept in me. Now I say this day, be glad that I have given you the privilege to be mine, that I give you my light upon the path. And I say, as I've told you before, when you see what it is that men are doing through their own understanding, they are going in the way of fools. And I say, when you see the darkness that is abounding in the land because men and women have refused to be ruled by me, what is the consequence of it all? I say you are indeed seeing the collapse, the distress, the despair that comes when men will separate themselves from me. I say this day be glad that I am the living God, the one who gives you my light, my life, as you will cry out and seek to be ruled by me. And I say be thankful that you do not need to be found under my wrath revealed. Now I say, if you will truly consider what happens to men who refuse my rule over them, I say they go right under my wrath. So I say, are they really free of me? For I say, when a man is rebelling against me, then I say that he's daily subject to my wrath, my fury, my indignation. And I say, while he thinks he's so independent, while he thinks he's so able to carry on, I say that he's gone in the way of a fool. I say that I, the living God, do not call you to go in the way of a fool, but I call you to humble to me. And I say that I call you to be thankful that you are guided, directed, and corrected by me. And I say that I call you to know that I am the one who will purpose you in that which you have need of time and again. I say this day, be glad that I am the living God, that I am the way of life and truth, that I am the way of mercy revealed. And I say, be glad that I am the one who does give unto my own all that they need. And I say that I give you instruction, I give you direction and guidance each day. And I say that I cause you to know what it is to be kept, for I will keep you in my way. I say, thank me and praise me that I am the one who is life and truth and mercy revealed day after day. Thank me and praise me that I am the one who gives my instruction, my direction, and my correction to my own. Thank me and praise me that through me you are given the hope and the peace, the safety that I provide. For I say it is me, the living God, who will prove to be the all and all unto my own. Now I say this day, be glad that you can continue to love me, to serve me, and obey me, and be brought forth in me day after day. 
and I say, be made glad that I will give to you exactly what you have need of, for I am able to give you the same. And I say, when you are finding yourself in me, you are abounding in life. And I say, when you are finding yourself in me, you are kept in the truth. I say, thank me and praise me for the truth, the light, the mercy, and the hope that I give day after day. And I say, when I, the living God, do guide you, then I say, be rejoicing in me. That is, for the purpose, the plan, the truth, and the light, and the mercy revealed. For I say that I do not leave my people to live their lives in shame. I do not leave my people to live their lives in pride. But I say that I guide them forth. And I say, when a man will give himself to pride, then I say he will prove to be a shame unto me. But I say, when a man will give himself to my humility way, then he can be uplifted, guided, and directed each day. And he can be given the mercy and the strength, the truth, the light upon the path. I say, be thankful even now to believe me, to trust me, and obey me, and be brought forth in me, for I am thy life. And I say, be thankful that you do not need to behave as the foolish, the vile, the corrupt, the wicked, who desire their own way. For I say, while they are indeed going in a way that I did not intend for them, they are going in the way of fools. And I say, they are going in that which is far from me, the way of their own destruction. I say that I do not call you to destruction, but I call you to continue steadfastly believing and hoping in me and desiring to be ruled by me. For I say in a wicked land, if there is a remnant that will be ruled by me, that I, the living God, will keep them as my own. And I say that I will uplift them each day and guide them forth, for I am well able. For I say it is a joy unto me to keep a people who are ever subject unto me. Therefore I say, be glad even now that you can be dependent, reliant upon me, and looking unto me, for I am the one who gives you life. And I say that I am the one who guides you forth each day. And I say, if you serve me with gladness, rejoicing, and the giving of praise, then yes, indeed, you are guided in my way, and you are given my light each day. I say, thank me and praise me for the privilege to repent. Thank me and praise me for the privilege to bow down and to receive my light, my truth, and my mercy revealed. And I say, be made glad that you do not need to be found amongst the foolish, the whorish, the vile, the proud who go their own way, but that you can indeed give up your way for my way. For I say that my way is truth and light and mercy and strength and hope day after day. And I say that my way is righteousness revealed. I say, be made glad to love, to serve, to obey me, and be directed by me, for I am the one who gives you the way of my life. And I say that I am the one who will purpose you in the truth, the strength, the mercy, the hope of who I am. For I say, in me you find the strength, in me you find the truth, in me you find the mercy. And I say, through me you are kept. But I say, when you despise my way, my mercy, my truth, and my life, and take up the way of pride, you take up the way wherein you will know my wrath. And I say, instead of being a child of mercy, you will be a child of wrath. I say, thank me and praise me that you can choose me through repentance, revolution, and live. All of the ACMTC publications are free and postpaid, so you have no excuse except an willingness or fear of knowing the truth. Do not write or email ACMTC to obtain the wisdom and counsel of Jesus Christ right in your own hands to read and pass out to others the third need of repentance and of warning of God's immediate impending wrath and judgments upon sinners worldwide. We also have three DVDs of these earlier presentations of rare and censured, censured by apostate Christianity that is, durable, and all Bible subjects, as well as unbelievably correct social, cultural, and political subjects for you to begin learning and acting upon as soon as possible. Repent for eternal life.
Ooh.